Greetings, brethren, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is alive. Ani akubalu meli sa ndi bafunzi bamsanda wontige zeni sukwiviro. The one who is greeting you is Pastor Chief Ntikezeni Spivero. Ndi hapa ndo rumi wanga umma wafunzi hivo M.E. Ragimana uriliva disele fungo. I am here as I've been sent by our pastor, Ma, Pastor Ragimana, so that I can bring the word of God to you. Vone muranga panda vachibizu yichicha the living gospel world mission chiliwa. The one who is the leader of our church, the Living Gospel World Mission at Shiribo. We attend Islam Zimudini Lako, the Vidori Patu Chedza, Rote Zuruan. I believe the word of God that is coming across to us is going to bless all of us greatly. Karizu Tanganeze, Ngarutendo Ruhuru. Let us welcome it in our hearts in great faith. We are going to read from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30 and we'll read from verse 3 to verse 6. It reads as follows. David and Vasa zina vana vabatuka na vasi zana vutu biwa. Dafita na vatu vewa wenai vafusa chiri ruchuru. Vavu ya wafele wanga manda awulira. Na vasa ziba viliva dafita vwa vutu biwa. Ahino imi wa yeseriere na abigeli msazi wanabali wa karamele. Dafita eno okake wazurwane nga uu vatu. Vavabachibu amba omuka ndanga matombo. Ngauri zimbiru zavo, zawa zosinyuwa. Vachivu wana zezo ito wa banavavo. Dafita wana manda maswa, ngaufuru pele yohova. So David and his men came to the town, and behold, it was bent, and their wives and sons and daughters were taken captive. Then David and the men with him lifted up their voices and wept, until they had no more strength to weep. David's two wives also had been taken captive. I know the Jezreelite and Abigail, the widow of Nabal, the Camelite. David was greatly distressed, for the men spoke of stoning him because the souls of them all were bitterly grieved each man for his sons and daughters. But David encouraged and strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Karabe. Shall we pray? Zina nila iso kristu wa nazareta muna wa shukungu la wukili lo variwa. Karabe la miya mketu wa miya mdili zina mfundezi. Urelipu mkali puteriwe bidemi miya niyashu lielishu mezote zini bako nyanga lishishu makarine ga iso kristu wa chila yo wari alibuwa. Amen. Ndi kotama uamba na munga pasi ya to ime yari kawa gude uditutuweza mrena. I would like to talk to you about under the topic that says learn to encourage yourself in the Lord. Hera varo one riko wana mudi wa zikla gawe wa wadafita wo pisiwa. From the passage of the scripture that we have read, we find that the city of Ziklag where Z David used to stay was destroyed and burnt. Dafita ndi ene mutanga ane abalupezi mutani wakotsiawe naone over emulisa. And David was the last born in his family and he was also a shepherd. Riazi divari ngeri bala ubibiri ur odo dorisi wa ubakosi wimoni asawuru. And we know some of us who read the word of God that he was anointed as to become the king and replace King Saul. 
Now David as somebody who was not ambitious. Hango kudzisa uri kudotomali ni uvakosi. He never inquired as to when was he going to start to become the king. Hango kudzisa uri kudovani kosi ngeno Saulo anavani. He never inquired as to how would he become a king when the king who was in place called Saul had children who could replace him. He continued to become the shepherd of the flocks of his father. One day as he was under his anointing, he went out and killed a giant uh, with his sling, the man that was coming from Gath. Gath. In spite of all this, David continued to rescue the land of Israel and the the nation of Israel and he continued to humble himself. And King Saul gave him a regiment of soldiers that he had to lead. And the regiment of the the, the, the soldiers that he led became victorious in many battles. And the women of Israel started a song. And, and they said Saul killed a hundreds of hundreds. Of hun David killed hundreds of hundreds. And they said Saul killed tens of thousands. And that made that turned David to become a greatest enemy of the kingdom of King Saul. Saul And Saul decided to kill David. David and we know as we continue to read the word of God when David ran into the cave of Adonam. And we realize that those people who followed him were people who were distressed in their souls. And we know that people who followed him, they had deaths towards King Saul. And it is under this very circumstance that we realize that David changed the people who were undermined to become a mighty army. Because in a place where there is an anointing of God, Great things are ought to happen. Then God of heaven is able to uh, change things that are very little and he can use them in order to convict the world. He can take the things that are very humbled in order to convict those that are very proud. Even though David ran away and he failed to confront Saul together with his army, the Spirit of the Lord accompanied him wherever he went. He had a great regiment of soldiers that could uh, stand against the army of Saul and defeat. And 
and he decided not to revenge on by himself but he allowed the, 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 he allowed god to take his place nichipinga chene chichambie ne ya sawu ya dafita musiyo bvapfumo it is it was during this very time that david's army went out to battle heva chivu ya bawana mudzi wabo office and when they came back they found that the city of Ziklag was burnt zothe zwavo zothubiwa and all their belongings were taken captive riwana uchivana ulira uhuru nga chipinga ichi chambihi and we find that the 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 whole army began to weep bitterly rigudamini nga uvaisara vati vali what do we learn when people are grieved and they begin to weep ritel zvikhesesa uri mwe vachikorira hapa ni masole hotreni wa we need to understand that the people who were weeping were soldiers who were trained to do the army na hone ni masole vavanna and this were the, the the soldiers who were male zviari sumbedza uri munana ene avaisara uyalira this is a clear indication to us that uh, even a man if he is deeply hurt he does cry arai ni munthu asalira if one doesn't cry over his son even though he is deeply hurt uzi vangera marwadze kuchirone ha he is inviting a lot of sicknesses and diseases in his life dafita na vana vaobolira usvika hune vasacha kona and david together with his men they wept until they had no more strength to weep bibili iri mudzimu una bodhero na unekedzera mitodzi musi mutu achiriira the bible says god has got a bottle wherein he collects our tears when we cry bibili iri mudzimu una bugo the bible says god has got a record book ine amwana kayo marotha othe mitodzi ya mutu achiriira in which he records all the numbers of tears of man when he does cry rizwana kapisale ma 56 verse 8 and we read about this from the book of psalm 56 verse 8 yone iri it reads as follows vindira za mushavo wanga wa dzidiva na matodzi anga kuaera nga mudziyo wao nga ngo wovara zwothe Now from the new living translation it reads as follows you keep track of all my sorrows you have collected all my tears in your bottle you have recorded each one in your book hallelujah amen ndikotama uri vazvifesese vano vamudzimu i want all of you as the children of god to understand this uri utungufara ha muthu zvihuvane mwana wa mudzimu yehova uba oset that the that when you are aggrieved especially when you are a child of god god is looking at you musi muthu achilira nge aphupiwa nga mumwe e mwana wa mudzimu zvihulwane mudzimu uba osedza when somebody is crying when he has been grieved by the next person especially when you are a child of god god is looking at you nga uri mudzimu una bodhero la wala ukuva nga nyaye mitodzi ine rine ra vona nga ikhowera pasi because god is collecting all the tears in his own bottle and we think we take it for granted and think that the tears are just falling on the ground mudzimu udova bana bugu yo mwana uri mutodzi muona mumwe wo jena hondo ndi ningana god also has a record book in order to record as to how many tears eh have fallen as you have been crying ndikamo tutweza bana I would like to encourage you as the children. Na ruti vasongo uya vazvilinga uita uri vabebe vavo varotise mutodzi nga mirando yavo. Never for a single moment ever in your life try to make your parent to cry because of you. Nga uri mudzimu uva ana bugu ya unwara na recorda mitodzi ene. Because God has got a record book where he is going to record where he will is recording the tears and also the number of these tears na va baby vashi vachimunya na ruti arongofaneli uri vibiri validze 
Even our spiritual parents, the same applies to them. We do not have to ever dare make them to cry. Because God has got a bottle where he is going to receive their tears. We who have been groomed very well in the Lord. And we agreed and sat under the good teachings as we have been taught by the teachers. And we agreed to look as we have been shown. And we have seen the way how uh, our father, Dr. Ragimana, handled his own father or spiritual father, Pastor Sintumule. In all the teachings that we have been taught, uh, as we compared them from what Pastor Sintumule have been doing, these teachings were different. Now, Pastor Sintumule used to understand that you do not have to eat or to take voice. And Pastor Sintumule used to understand that uh, a, a woman doesn't have to put on the slack. Irregardless of its own design, as long as it is a slack. And Pastor Sintumule used to understand that uh, a young man and men do not have to put on the jeans. Because such type of uh, attire was regarded as the attire of the hooligans. Now if you go to uh, the funeral and they take the coffin and they wrap the, uh, the, 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 the leather or the skin from a cow with it, you do not have to eat the food thereof. And our pastor, Pastor Gimana, told us that we must listen to Pastor Sintumere when he teaches. And he taught us that this is our grandfather and he, there is no one who has to quote a verse or teach him the verse because this is our grandfather. And he departed very well and very happily as we saw it. Now the men of David, they cried very bitterly. And God even recorded their tears. What do we learn as people revolt against their leadership? David rose up from a difficult situation. When the man that he relied on, they revolted against him. Now, one needs to teach himself or herself to have a to maintain a good relationship with your God. People will support you, but their support will be very temporary. But what is most important is that you need to have a good relationship with your God. And David strengthened himself in the Lord. And he traveled very well in the journey with his Lord. And his God raised him spiritually and he showed him the victories that he was going to achieve. And indeed, he rose up and he was able to take back everything that the enemy had taken away. The very same God that he trusted when he was still a shepherd boy, 
The very same God that he trusted when he killed Goliath of God. The very same God who did not run away from him when he was running away from Saul who wanted to kill him. And David rose up with the very God and he went out and had great a, a great achievement. I don't know what the devil has taken or stolen out of you. What is exactly that which the devil has done to you where when you go, you arrive at a place crying and you are not even able to cry anymore? I would like to make this announcement to you that the Lord God has a bottle to receive your tears. God has a book and he has recorded every single number of tears that has dropped out of your eye. Rise up in faith and confront the enemy in his eyes. Speak victory before uh, your enemy to the Lord. There is no storm that can that that God cannot uh, manage because he is a great God. With your own very eyes, you are going to see God coming at your rescue before you. Strengthen yourself by this very great God. Do not wait for somebody to carry you spiritually. The word of God tells us that there are people who want their own things to be good. But David rose up and he had a victory. I urge you to rise up. To rise up. Rise up. You are going to achieve a victory. May God bless you. May God richly bless you. As you are going to stand up and encourage yourself in your God. He will bless you and he will defend you. Because he is a God and he does not resemble man. Shall we pray? Amen.